Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm Terrence J. What's going on? Multi-hyphenate Terrence J. Paired up with Maytag's Feel Good Fridge to provide healthy food options to kids around the nation at Boys and Girls Clubs. So I'm going to start with something a little heavy. So the stats say that 14 million children aren't getting enough to eat. So what is your reaction to that? Like, how does that make you feel? Cage, you just jumped right in. <laughs> Warm up. No, not. Cage, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. That stat in particular is, is something that really alarms me. Because uh, the percentage, the percentage is like 27%, right? When you hear a percentage, it, it, it just feels like a number. When you hear 14 million, it, I, I almost didn't sleep that night. I know what it feels like to not know, you know, where the meal is. I grew up, we bounced around a lot. I know what it feels like to spend time in the boys and girls girls club and your stomach is growling and your ribs are touching. The number 14 million threw me off. We're in, a, this is America, right? We, we, it was, it was such a wasteful country. You see people leaving restaurants, full half me meals on the plate. We know the homelessness problem is huge, but when I heard young people 14 million have food insecurity in this country cage. I was, it's alarming, right? Yeah. And so how do you combat that problem? A long time, I felt like, oh, there's somebody that's got to figure it. Elon Musk or somebody has to, Bill Gates, or one of them will figure it out, right? One of these guys, Mark Zuckerberg, somebody rich, Oprah, Oprah will do it. Oprah will figure this out for us. And then you realize that it's a more nuanced problem. It's a, it's a, it's a matriculous problem that happens in our country. And, and it starts off with these small little nuggets that are in grains and communities all over the country. And it takes all of us, not just one person from the top down, it takes all of us from the bottom up to make sure that the stat from 2020 isn't gonna be the same stat in 2030, right? Mm -hmm. And so for, for me, it's been part of my mission statement moving forward of like, okay, I know I want to do these films. I know I want to do these TV shows. I want to you know, do these. This has become something on my bucket as, as if not more important than anything that I want to do success-wise, right? And so I, I, I joined forces with my friends at Maytag. Maytag is, is, is one of those companies we all know. It's one of those companies we all, everybody knows Maytag. Maytag has had uh, a relationship with the Boys and Girls Club for 20 years, right? So they've been rocking with the Boys and Girls Club as long as I've been rocking uh, with the Boys and Girls Club. And so join forces for this program. Uh, it's called the Maytag Feel Good Fridge. And Cage, what we want to do is we want to make sure that young people, when they come out of school, if there are issues at home, if there are issues where they're going and they can't find a good, you know, healthy meal, you come to us and we, we, we got you. And, and that's what this program is all about. Mm -hmm. And so the food crisis and also bringing healthy food to underserved communities. Tell me how you first got involved in that cause. Um, you know, what made you decide that this specific issue is something that you need to be a part of alleviating? You know, for, for me, it's very personal. Um, my, my, my dad has health issues. Uh, I got vitiligo a few years ago. And when I went to the dermatologist, they, they explained to me that, you know, there are a lot of different issues that contribute to it, but diet is one of the biggest things. And one of the first things they said is, you know, you, you eat a lot of red meat. I ate a ton of red meat and alleviating the red meat and alleviating uh, the dairy was something that was going to help me, right? It was going to help my health, right? And then I realized, man, I was, I've been programmed since six years old to drink a glass of milk every day, right? And, you know, you remember Food Pyramid? Cage with the, it used to have the, you know, drink milk every, and so that doesn't work for everybody, right? I'm lactose intolerant. That does not work for everybody. And so the, 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 the older I got, 
And the more I wanted to save my dad's life, the more I want to look out for my own health. It made me realize that all of this, you know, a lot of these habits stem from when you're a kid. It stems from when you're seven, eight years old, you're building these habits, right? And if the options to eat well aren't there for you at a young age, then you're not going to eat well as an adult, right? And so that's why it became more, more important. And then, you know, as the pandemic uh, unfolded and as, you know, I got to see all these, these, these stories about young people that didn't have meals, that because now that they're not going to school, now, you know, there, there was nothing for them to eat. I was like, nah, you know, I, look, I, I don't have Oprah's money, but I'm going to do my part. And, and that's why this program is very near and dear to my heart. And that's why, you know, we're, we're I'm screaming from the mountaintop, you know, that, that we're, we're launching it, we're growing it, and we want to, you know, touch and affect as many young people as, as we can. Mm -hmm. So how did you first get involved in it? You know, did, you know, Maytag approach you? Like how, how did that work out? You know, I, I, with, 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 so for me, I, I only do things that feel organic. I only put things in, out into the universe that I, I want to do. And it always happens like this. You know, Maytag was, was in the process of launching the program. I'm in the process of really, you know, jumping into this end of philanthropy uh, in my life. And our teams kind of got together and we, we, we made this work. Um, but for me, the, the key ingredients in choosing a partner uh, are, are doing it with people that are, are, are organic. Right. There's always people always approach me, hey, jump on this. And, you know, sometimes there's these pie in the sky companies that come and they they just want to pay me to do things. And that, that's not really what I'm about. Maytag has been with Boys and Girls Club for 20 years. Maytag is a refrigerator I've seen in my house that, you know, we, we all know the Maytag brand. Right. And so for me, it was important to partner with a company that really does this so that they have the reach and the resources that, that I need to really have the change and, and affect the impact that I want to, to get out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you described a little bit about, um, I guess, your relationship with Maytag, but let's go more into your relationship with the Boys and Girls Club. So what was that like growing up and why is the Boys and Girls Club the perfect partner as well um, in this initiative? You know, growing up, coming out of school, my parents worked long hours. Uh, so a lot of times there's that gap. I call it that gap between the time where you you know you get home and, and your mom cooks something, or you know, I was called the latchkey kid, right? You you know you had your key, you kind of had just, you had the three four hour block to fend for yourself. Um, you know I, I moved from New York down to North Carolina when I was like 10, 11. Those those years in New York were pivotal. Those years in North Carolina were pivotal. That time can be a dangerous time. That's the time where you get into all the trouble. That's the time where you get involved in things that you're not supposed to, right? Boys and Girls Club saved my life. I had mentors there. There were volunteers there. We were, I was playing basketball instead of joining a game. I was learning how to swim instead of doing drugs. I was, you know, doing acting improv skits that we came up with, with the students and with my the counsel, counselors, I was doing that instead of doing whatever other trouble I could have been in. And so, you know, in the movie of my life, if it was all played out, you would see that a lot of the nuggets were learned during those years uh, that, that contributed to, to what I've been able to do in my career now. Mm -hmm. Great, and so, what options are going to be in these fridges, in these Boys and Girls Clubs? What food options? So, you know, the, I went, to, so we opened up the first fridge yesterday and we had, it was so much in there, right? The kids were eating the strawberries, we had the, the celery sticks, the carrots, the oranges, the apples. But the amazing part about these programs, about these refrigerators is that, you know, each Boys and Girls Club of America is going to have the specificity to do it for their town, right? And so the, the ones in New York might be different from the ones that are in Detroit and different from the ones that are in California. And we're going to continue to launch them. And so it's a collaborative effort. Maytag has already started off with the initial donations. 
they've started off with the refrigerators, they've started off with the, the initial seeds, seed money to, to, to stock the fridges, but it's gonna be all of us collaborating and making sure that these fridges continue to stay stocked and uh, continue to have the right things in there for students to grow healthy and happy and strong. Mm -hmm. And I guess going off that, you know, in the middle of the pandemic, what has it been like visiting uh, these fridges and, you know, seeing the influence that they have in the children? You know, first of all, this pandemic has been tough, man. Not, you know, I, I'm a very active person. I, I would always, you know, prior to pandemic, I probably went to two or three Boys and Girls Club visits a year, right? We would do this all the time. There's always a pop-up at a Boys and Girls Club, right? And so it's, it's, it's been tough not being able to go. To go back and to be able to launch an initiative like this and to see the young people and to see their excitement and, you know, kids like new things. They, they, they love to have a new fridge in there and there's, there's all these stickers and there's these magnets on there and they're playing with the magnets. And so it, it, it's, it's always fun to have that initiative. Uh, but like you said, back to that alarming step that you, you started off with is that the, the, the problem is something that we have to address. And so it was great seeing them, but you know, my goal is, is, is how we can do even more. And so that's, that's the name of the game for me right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so what is your favorite healthy snack or go-to recipe? No, that's tough. I'm really, a, I'm an I'm a apple and, uh, and, and peanut butter guy. <laughs> uh, I like, um, I'm, I'm kind of weird in the sense of I like celery and cal carrots. Like, I like them. Throw a little ranch on there, you can take it to the next level for me. Um, but now I just, there's so many impossible and, and healthy eating options that, didn't exist when when I was growing up that now it's so easy to eat healthy uh, and it still tastes good. And, you know, I love that, that we'll be able to provide this for kids so that they'll have, they'll be able to have better habits when they're my age. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then, so you've been a part of different, you know, initiatives bringing, uh, I guess, food equality back and everything like that. So what makes this one different from stuff you've done in the past? This one, you know, I've, I've done a lot that have been aimed at black colleges and a lot that have been aimed in, in uh, the collegiate space That's something I'm, I'm also very passionate about. This one is, is really specific to kids and young people. Uh, like you said, that alarming stat that, that we began this, this talk with is, is really what set me in motion on this one. Um, and I think it's what set Maytag in motion on this one as well. Um, and the Boys and Girls Club is just the perfect outlet. They're everywhere, they're reputable, we know their reputation, we know that they're going to make sure that these, these fridges stay in the right condition, and, 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 and that's really what set me on this journey. Mm -hmm. And um, I guess in an ideal world, what would you hope, you know, the food crisis would look like? What, what would you hope that the end goal would be, um, how to fix this issue? You know, fix is a tough word, right? You, you know, fixing is, is you know, we, we wanna, I, I, my goal is that the stat that we know now in 2020 is that we can minimize that or eliminate that in, by 2030, right? Mm -hmm. I, I hope that, I mean, and that's my personal thought is that, you know, we, we, we have to contribute and start small and build up and, and do it in a meaningful way. This can't be some big, you know, government initiative because then you throw all the money out like that and then you, you don't know where all of it's going to go. And then it gets, it, this has to start organic. This has to start real and it has to start with people that are passionate about it. Um, and so that's my goal is to have it with real growth, with real contributing people that are donating the right things to, to the students so that that stat of 14 million uh, in, in 2020 by 2030, we want that stat going. Mm -hmm. And then last question. So how can the everyday person um, help alleviate this crisis or get involved? You know, look, the, so the big answer is we, we have to support our young people there's, there's a million different ways uh, to donate, to volunteer, to contribute, to give back. Um, so however anybody wants to do that, I encourage you to do that. Uh, if you wanna join us on, on this fight, 
we would love the support. We would love for you to join us um, on this particular fight. Um, and so please go to Maytag.com uh, slash feel good fridge. Again, that's Maytag.com slash, let me make sure I got it right, slash feel good fridge. Yes, Maytag.com slash feel good fridge. All the information on our initiative is up there. We're doing good work and we're doing real work. And if anybody knows me, I don't put my name on things and I'm not really doing. So uh, I went to the first school yesterday. I'm gonna be popping around these refrigerators. I might pop up, you know, with a refrigerator in your town. And I'll make sure it's fully stocked for the kids and make sure that they got the right options. So, you know, please join us in this fight.